and well to Glasgow Rain, me, your host, in. Guys, it is fantastic to be with you here on a winning match day, guys. Another victory for Rangers today over Wraith Rovers. And I'll be back later to review that game in a bit more detail in the GRN Live podcast, where you will get the opportunity to join in with your thoughts, comments and questions on the game today. But a story that came out of Michael Beale's post-match press conference that he, well post match press conference and post match interview that he gave to uh, the TV channel um you know when he was speaking to Ali McCoist for example um and all the other guys and girls on there he spoke about the contract situation of three of Rangers leading players he spoke about the contract situation regarding Ryan Jack the contract situation regarding uh, Ryan Kent and also the contract situation regarding Alfredo Morales now if we start with Ryan Jack um Beal made it really clear that he's already talked to the board. He's talked to those guys higher up than him about what he wants and what he wants done about contracts. He's made that clear. You know, he had in the past said that he hadn't done anything yet as regards contracts or as regards people you know, who were staying, who was going. He said that obviously that was going to be something that he would have to assess and look at over his time at the club. And now, obviously, he's been here now for a few months. He's obviously got his feet under the table. He's taken an assessment on those players. And first of all, on Ryan Jack, he was ultra clear today. Um, and apparently he's also spoken to the player and made it clear as well that he wants Ryan Jack to stay, that he wants Ryan Jack to be part of his future at the club. You know, he sees Ryan Jack as being a fundamental part of this team. And, you know, certainly Jack on the uh, previous Saturday against Kilmarnock and in midweek against Hibs was an absolutely outstanding. I mean, Hibernian away, he was absolutely brilliant. I think a sensible move today to rest Jack. Obviously, the fact that he's just come back from injury, you don't want to push him too far. You don't want to risk him getting muscle fatigue and risk him getting injured again. Obviously, John Lundstrom did come in for Ryan Jack today, but I think Jack will be good and ready to go um, for Rangers next game. So, you know, definitely the right thing to do in managing him. But um, yeah, certainly Beal was very clear today that Ryan Jack is a player that he wants to keep at the club and he wants the board to negotiate a new contract with him. So, ultra clear on the old Ryan Jack. We're going to go to Ryan Kent next. Hang on, we are going to talk about Alfie at the end, where it is a slightly different case. Um, in terms of Ryan Kent, again, he made it ultra clear today in the interview that he gave after the game, the 3-0 victory today by Glasgow Rangers over Wraith Rovers to proceed to the semi-finals, that he wants Ryan Kent to remain at the club. You know, again, he's made that clear to the board and clear to those in power in the front office that he wants them to, to renegotiate a new contract, a new deal with, with Ryan Kent. Kent, who has been linked with a move south of the border to Leeds United of the Premier League and also a Burnley, who will probably be of the Premier League next season, given how they are running away with the Championship in England at this moment in time. However, Beale has warned off these, these teams uh, by saying that Kent very much remains part of Glasgow Rangers' plans. And the fact that obviously that um, that Michael Beale and Rangers can offer Ryan Kent first-team football, they can offer, hit, offer them competitive first-team football, they can offer him a chance to win trophies in the three trophies in Scotland, as well as European football in the Champions League, um, which is over and above anything Leeds and Burnley can offer. So certainly, a, you know, a, a big sw a big swinging point, a big point to really pull Kent into the club. Plus the fact that Kent has been a part of Rangers now for a number of years. He has been a fundamental part of Rangers and has been a, been, been a success at the club, you know, since he obviously joined. Um, so for me, you know, again, ultra clear that um, he wants Kent to remain. He wants Kent to be part of his plans and he wants Kent to be part of this Rangers team going forward. Um, you know, that is certainly something that Michael Beale made very, very clear in what he said today. And he wants him to add to those 110 appearances and 22 goals that he's had um, since he's obviously been um, here permanently since 2019 in his loan spell, obviously 26, 27 appearances and six goals between 28, uh, 2018 and 2019. So yeah, ultra clear on that. Now, when he was asked about Alfredo Morelles and his future, he did state that it was slightly different on the old Alfredo Morelles situation, given the fact that Morelles he says, hasn't really shown him enough, which is a very interesting comment that he needs to see more from Alfie. Um, I think that is, I think again, clear that he doesn't want Morales to remain, that he is 
quite happy with Morelles to leave at the end of the season. I think Alfie has obviously been um, been sort of pushed out of the team in recent weeks. You know, again, he said, Michael Beale said after the game today that he likes what Tony uh, Antonio Cholak brings to them, Tony Goals brings to the team. He likes his energy. He likes the effort he puts in. He likes his presence in the box. He likes the type of player that Cholak is and obviously the fitness as well that Cholak brings. I think there is definitely um, a concern there amongst Rangers fans and amongst the management and the coaching that um, the fit and his physical thing at uh, you know, you look at how he has been this season. He just is not a player. He doesn't look fit. He doesn't look like a player who uh, he doesn't look like Alfie of does he? And that's that is a big concern. My favorite on board and reason. So it looks incredible that Morales will leave at the end of the season and that he will not be part of uh, Rangers' future under Michael Beale, um, which obviously, you know, is a concern. I think it is obviously a worry that he will be going elsewhere, that he will be leaving at the end of this season. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that would be definitely something that is going to happen. You know, the, the likelihood at the moment is that he will be leaving to go to Sevilla. That is where he seems to be signed that pre-contract agreement. Um, and I think today this interview from Michael Beale goes further to, you know, to show that Morales is off at the end of the season. Um, you know, we certainly thought would thank him for his service and thank him for what he's done for Rangers. But I think it's very really clear that you know, Kent and Jack, he wants them to stay and, and hopefully they will sign new deals. But it looks like it's the end of the road for Morales at Rangers, given what Michael Beale said in his interview today. Well, guys, please come back later and check out the, the live podcast where we're going to talk about today's game in a bit more depth, look back at the goals, look back at what has happened today. Sorry about the internet dropout in this uh, dodgy internet here in England. Thank you so much for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation. Please remember, please, can you hit that sub, ring that notification bell and come and join the Glasgow Rangers Nation family. Help to grow the channel, guys. We are growing day by day, getting bigger and bigger, showing that Glasgow is a blue city. It is not a green and white city. It is blue. We are the people. No surrender to that green and white shower.